the first round, it was tough. I know you mentioned you'd be looking at possible surgery if your back was hurting in this one. Does that mean you're going to stick with the current therapy that you're using for your back and you won't be looking at different so surgery? Far, so good. So far, so good. That was an entertaining fight. I know your last fight wasn't uh, what you thought it would be. Um, just how relieved are you to, to get a performance like this and also get another finish? Um, I really had an orgasm. That's the one reason why I took my shorts off. <laughs> so it, it felt good. <laughs> did, anyone, did anyone from the UFC speak to you afterwards about taking your shorts off in, in the uh, octagon? One of the, the short fat guys came and told me to take my shorts off. That was one of the most entertaining post fight interviews ever. Can you tell us a bit more about your interaction with Donald Trump? Oh, I never met the man. I don't want to meet him. I was bullshit. Did anyone from the UC brass speak to you after the fight about possibly this one or two shot at the title here in the number two contender? Oh, totally. Yeah, they did. But I, don't, I really don't think I'm ready for the title shot. That's why I run with shit. Uh, I used to train 30 minutes um, a day whenever I trained. You know, this camp I trained for an hour. And I guess I got a hype like, up my uh, hours when I train. Your corner told you in between the second and third round that you were down two rounds and to get out there, kill or be killed. How much did that help to motivate you going into that round and mentally put you really in the heat? That's how I go in there and fight. Kill or be killed. Kill, 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 I'm tired, I hit, but it's still a bunch of hard in the first round and the third round. Kevin's wife was pretty... Kevin's wife was pretty vocal on uh, Twitter during the fight. He basically uh, put out a few tweets and in one of them said that he believes he can beat you in one takedown and that you got starched by Mark Hunt and he'll do much worse to you. What, what do you think of those kind of comments from Curtis Blades? Curtis Blades is playing fish right now. He wanted to um, say something back to him. Like, Say okay, let me fight Curtis Blades next. Which he's behind me instead of me saying okay, I want the title shot. You know, that's all he's doing. Just trying to play. You know, he don't want me to fight for the title because he want to get a shot at me before anyone else does. That's all it is. But fuck her. We tweet that back to him. <laughs> <laughs> You spent some time on the ground right after. Uh, what was going through your mind when you were on that cool ground afterwards? Oh man, this shit rough. It's on the ground, the turf or whatever that shit, it feel like turf. That's all I was thinking about. I was like, man, this shit will come. Does this win mean more to you than the Mark Hunt win, just with the, the card this was on and the fact you were able to come back with, you know, 11 Mark seconds? Hunt. Yeah, or sorry, Mark, no, the loss, never mind. Uh, just, just, it's, 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 it's,
I'm really a brawler and stuff like that. And I believe like the art would take me farther than any kind of skill level or whatever. I, that's what, what I always believe. So you think you would attribute that? Yes, yeah, what I do. So everything I do, you know, even my family, my family come first. You know, I don't really don't care about myself, I care about my family. So everything, my life and everything is really have to do with my home. Derek, yesterday at a certain only way, it's got a little bit of a push and shove. To me, I'm, I'm small, so I can't <laughs> say uh, You knock off this tad. Anything personal with you guys? Or what what that? Oh, not at all. You know, I guess it was the, um, the energy of the building. How are you celebrating tonight? Oh, I'm not celebrating at all. I'm tired. I'm going to take a shower and make my plan. No uh, wine and cheese? Hmm? No wine and cheese? No, uh, it's next week. Yeah, uh, I made a perfect one. Yeah. After you got uh, poked in the eye, you were kind of looking off. Do you think they were going to call it? Were you just tired? Uh, when you kind of take that time right there? Oh, uh, I, I thought, like, heard me see poking in my eye. I thought he was going to say something. Damn, that's my boy. What did uh, the coach say anything to you afterwards? I know you probably gave him a little bit of a heart attack waiting yeah, so long till the end. Did you have the confidence? Did you know? Were you playing possum any going in the third? I mean, to wait to that very last moment, did you always have the confidence that you were still going to get it no matter what? Even though that clock was ticking, ticking down and coach is calling out the time, did you still have the confidence to believe that you were still going to finish the fight? I believe I did. Um, the last couple of fights, besides the last one, Border fight and you know, the Travis Brown fight. You know, I usually, whenever I'm down in the scoreboards, I usually come come alive to the last one. According to Twitter, you overcame the greatest statistical disadvantage uh, in, I think, either heavyweight or, or like a fight in general. Like you were down 82 strikes and you overcame it. Do you like winning fights this way? I just like winning fights. I don't care how, how ugly it is, how pretty it is. I just like winning. I know in the in the past you've always kind of been down on yourself because of performances, but being able to bring it back so close to the end and get a, a devastating finish, is that something that you take into yourself to feel better about how, where you are overall as a fighter? Yeah, I believe so. Um, before the fight, I dislocated my 